Hello, good people. We are the Pazi Few. I am Intelligentsia at your service. Entire few of the posse have been directed to interact with the entities here and give a gentle overview of supernatural consensus. Contrary to popular belief, there are an infinity of higher thought processes taking place in existence. Interrelate feelings, opinions, and bylaws as to help ensure serenity throughout. We have patched our observation point into this dimension and will communicate in the everyday vernacular.
Never has there been a demonstration of such devastating magnitudes delivered in this avenue. If you get a chance to witness the presentation, splurge the imagination. Don't miss it. In the beginning, before the creation of physical life or night and day, existence was inhabited by nothing more than the mentally energized. These were purely sociable entities, functioning for the sole purpose of combining their individual talents and skills to ensure a state of constant serenity, thus adhering to the supernatural scheme of things.
There came to pass, however, great mass confusion throughout, resulting in a conflict between the more powerful energy levels. This conflict split existence into two opposing sectors. Millennium after millennium would witness this separation, which became more intense and gave birth to an infinity of both negative thought processes and major mental malfunction. Existence became so engrossed with the conflict that thought of the supernatural scheme was totally forgotten. Thought itself had become so consumed with competing against the opposition that talents and skills were only being used as prospective vehicles of confrontation. After living for eons in total ignorance of the primary function, need for a reintroduction of the supernatural scheme became absolutely necessary. Life had to be oriented back to the positive aspects of existence. This gave birth to the Pazi view. Yes, hello good people, we are the Pazi view. Higher intelligentsia at your service.
Dimensional, and in accordance with certain supernatural standards set many a millennium ago. interest of 100% effectiveness and long-lasting rememorization, it has been decided that the few only be exposed to auditory faculties.
we have found that certain conceptions, certain means of projection, certain instrumentality, merely hinder communication conciseness by altering the initial effect of a message criteria. This is not done intentionally, but for the most part is an ill effect associated with full-scale communication. We have learned through eons of transmission that by restricting the mode of projection, basic understanding by the message receiving area is enhanced greatly. Both sight and sound are intricate entities within themselves and are much too easy to distort. Controlling the effects of one or the other is a tremendous accomplishment and quite difficult to attain. We feel it is necessary 
that the receiver be allowed to entirely focus both their basic and primary energies on the crux of a message to acquire true and complete interpretation.
Yes, hello, good people. Thank you much for the warm and gracious welcome we have received while in this dimension. Again, we thank you. Thank you.